Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We've gone into the uh, Metro Kingdom in New Donk City and now we need to find where uh, the last musician is so we can have a little festival. Um, let's see. There's a lot of um, stuff on top of buildings and just on the sides of buildings in this level. We're going to be going all over the place for quite a while. And the purple coins are going to take quite... Yeah, yeah, they're just going to take forever because the purple coins are everywhere, basically. And not even in a quick and easy way. But anyway, let's keep going up this building. We can hear something nearby. So let's head on over here and say hello to this trumpeter over here. But first, I'm going to quickly jump down here and take a snapshot of this hint art. Just like that. Those aren't purple coins, are they? No. Okay. What brings you all the way up here? Groovy hat man. One sec, are you looking for cats to play with the mayor? You are. Uh, you can tell the mayor anytime, any any place. I wouldn't miss our festival for the world. Did he say cats or am I crazy? That's all the musicians we need, thanks. I'm amazed at your persistence. You should consider running for public office. Now I just need to figure out this other problem. See, the underground power plant seems to be out of commission. We need that thing to supply power to the festival. I don't suppose you're familiar with underground work, are you? Well, I am, kind of, because I go through pipes as Mario. Also, they're playing Super Mario Bros, which is cool. But anyway, let's quickly go to the shop because I want to change out of this costume. And there's also some other things I can do as well. There's actually two entrances to this place because it's actually two different rooms that are connected but also separate at the same time. Which is good, but I also can buy a power moon here as well. So let's do that. Also, haven't, if I haven't mentioned already, or even, I don't know, I haven't mentioned already, the costumes that you wear actually are in pixel form when you go into one of the pixel walls as well. Anyway, there we go. And let's head over to the underground that we're supposed to be going to. If I can actually get there quickly. Which is fairly easy to do with all these things everywhere to help you fling yourself around the world. But anyway. Let me ask you something. How am I supposed to inspect the power plant if nobody can get this manhole cover off? Here, let me just capture it and then move it for you. Just like that. Also, there's a flag kit that I'm going to grab. But anyway underground power plant and we can see that they're having some trouble in there so we'll have to deal with that in a second wait hang on okay it looked like that guy was in the pipe for a minute because he was um behind it but anyway if we throw a cap into one of these platforms they will spin around for a bit uh, we have the power plants to deal with in here which is all right i suppose that's pretty much just how this area goes. And this does actually count, I suppose, in my terms, as a secret area. There are also purple coins there that you don't want to miss because they are annoying to have to find otherwise. Same with these ones over here. Those ones are a little bit more obvious though. So, if we go over here and get rid of these things before they do anything else. Get a heart. 
And there's a lot of graffiti on this wall, which is cool. I mean, it's cool because it is... Uh, because of what the, the graffiti is. And also, if we get up here, there's a power moon for us. I especially like all the Bowser graffiti on the walls. It's very cool. But anyway... Oh wow, hello, Pauline. How did you get here so quick? I thought you wanted somebody who was good with underground. You're, you're better that, at, at underground than me. I wanted to get a first-hand look at the problem down here at the power plant. Well. Looks like that Bowser Monster's fiends, our friends, need to be taught a new donk lesson. So we have two of these power plants to take out. So let's do that. Ow. And taking, out, taking them out also clears up the area around them. But anyway, there's the power moon. <laughs> and let's turn on the new Donk City power. Thank you, Mario. Now that you've, ahem, powered up the city, it's time for the festival to begin. Now we can finally kick off the festival in style and power, shall we? Oh hey, would you like to participate in the festival? It's right up your alley. Let's do it. Great, I know you'll do us proud. A traditional festival. Oh my goodness. This song called Jump Up Superstar is one of my favorite songs, basically. Also, we just got a, uh, a, a, a heart that was in pixel form. And also we have anti-different different weird gravity now. Very Super Mario Galaxy-esque, but in pixel form. There's also a secret moon to collect. Let's go up this pipe into a secret area. Unfortunately, it actually has a lot of cheering that overpowers the the song, but still, celebrating in the streets. And this whole, this whole festival is Donkey Kong themed. 
the original arcade game. It's a good use of the 2D pixel sections as well. There's a lot of coins to collect as well. The barrels do hurt as well, same with the fire. Ooh, the coins in the shape of DK. Okay. I missed at the end. Let's just power through. Let's hit these blocks underneath Donkey Kong. And for all that, we end up at the crowd on top of the tower. We can bounce on them, which is, I guess, cool, I guess. I don't know how many times I said guess. But anyway, let's talk to Pauline. Thank you again, Mario. I'm dedicating this festival to you. We couldn't have done it without your help. Please accept this as a gift. With that, things go back to normal, and you can replay the that anytime you go back into that city hall down there and talk to Pauline. But anyway, here's the people to tell us where moons are that we haven't collected, which we still have quite a few to go collect, so let's actually stick around a little bit to see what else we can find. First off, we have those uh, seeds that we planted. Plaza Planter. So let's see, where else is everything? I, there's quite a few things I just haven't done that I just out in the open as well. Building Planter. I saw that these were ready before when one of the, the other one was ready for pickup. Who piled garbage on this? Good question. Some more purple coins off the edge here. Almost halfway to all of those purple coins. Now, I believe if I go down here, some more purple coins. Don't think there's anything else down here, but we could have accessed this from over here. Let's head on up. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, this is just a way back up, I guess. But for now, let's actually head down here because there's another manhole we can move. And let's hop in. Got a little secret area. And we can move these platforms with the walls on them by throwing Cappy into a wall. We need to get some pieces of moon. Some moon pieces. I don't know what to call them. I feel like moon pieces works, but still. Pieces of moon just doesn't sound right. Life heart there. The last piece should be over here. Also, the cans that are at the entrance are a type of thing that we'll just find around the world. I love just um, sending kickable items just everywhere. It's way too much fun. But anyway, there's the power moon. Inside the rotating maze, but also this is a secret area, so there has to be a secret moon outside the rotating maze. So there we go, and now let's 
head on out because that's everything down here. Okay, let's see. What else should I do? Well, there's that moon right there that I should probably get. How am I... How are my kids so good at this? Well, let's put a hat on you. And now we get to control the RC car guy. The way that this works is we have left stick to accelerate forward or backward. Or we can use the right stick to turn in a direction. Whether good or bad. It's a little bit difficult to control, but once you get the hang of it, we get pretty good at this. But anyway, if we're getting that first moon, there, this door opens up. I feel the spirit of remote control in you. Step right in. We got a little mini game in here. Where we have to get through this course as quickly as possible, which is, means I'm going to crash into everything. Oh dear, that's a bad start. One lap. Crashing into things slows you down. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna do really bad at this apparently. And there we go. 24 seconds. My last lap was the best lap that I had. And now I could be wrong, but I think there's actually another moon because that that one spawned in second place, but I think there's one that spawns in first place, but also I don't know if it's... Yeah, I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, I'll come back later anyway. So for now, let's just move on. And actually, I want to head back to the underground really, really quick because we didn't get much of a, t of a chance to look at it, and it's actually really interesting down there, so... I want to I wanna do that. And go back in any time we want. I even think it might even just be easier to get in, maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. But I guess we don't even need to go in there. It's it's cool that they're powering the city with power moons like that. Uh, but also, if we look around, we can just see that this entire place is just full of power moons everywhere. Just masses of them. Poison group down there. Oh my goodness, power moons. Just makes me want to put them all in the Odyssey all at once, just so that it will be doing the animation for about five minutes or a billion years. The It's so satisfying to put moons into the Odyssey, especially when you have more of them and it just lasts even longer. But anyway, let's go into this building here. Because I can't remember what this is. Okay, now I can. We flip that switch and a moon appears, but we don't have much time to get it, so we need to go quickly. Cap bouncing makes this a lot easier. Oh, but don't grab, don't grab things. There we go. Pushing through the crowd. Because it's going against the... the thing. But anyway, I believe if we go up here though, since this is a secret area, there's actually a... a moon up here which we can swing on those bars to get to. High over the crowd. Where these things work is just swing back and forth until you ready to jump, and then you jump. Anyway, let's head into this pipe now, over here, since this goes to somewhere else. And I want to get these purple coins in this tree. Since I want all the purple coins in the universe. If I can actually aim correctly. There we go. And let's use this rocket. And we get yet another secret level. Two secret levels in one. This is where I do all my training. Got these moving poles now. We do actually have to swing a little bit. To get some good spin on. Now if we hold on to this for a little bit longer and go up here. And grab this. It will take us up to the secret power moon. Vaulting up a high rise. What an athlete! 
Okay. This here's the real deal. And also has purple coins in it. <gasps> oh my goodness. We can kind of go through this quickly if we're careful. Or not careful, but anyway. Here's the other power moon. Hanging from a high rise. And let's go on back down. That's everything over here. So I guess we can head somewhere else now. Where to? Let's actually head to the top of the building. Top of the city. We have a good view of what's up here, but also if we wall jump here for long enough. There's some purple coins here, and if I can not fall down, that'd be great. Because I'd like to grab those purple coins. We can actually see them from the... Just before the, um, the fight at the top. But we couldn't get them because we... Well, I wanted to wait until after the fight. Anyway, there's some purple coins down here that we can get. Since these pillars are here now. And if I can actually head back up to the top again, that would be great. And luckily, it's actually a lot easier to get up there now, because there's just a direct line up. Now, I believe, at the very, very top of this tower... Well, hey, there's a moon back there as well, in the background, above that pool. We can actually grab onto these poles here, and get up even higher, and grab onto this, which is a pole. And get up all the way up to the top of the city. And here's a power moon, of course. Dizzying Heights. Now let's go get that one that's over this way. Got it. Glittering above the pool. You're supposed to actually just use this as a trampoline to get that, but I just leapt for it and it worked. Super Mario World. I think? I think that's from Super Mario World. That theme. It's a classic Mario theme, whatever game it's from. Uh, but anyway, some purple coins there. Another direct line up and down from here there. And I believe, around here, maybe a bit lower, I can feel vibrations with my controllers. Which means that around here, I don't know where exactly. I think it's... I'm sure it's down here somewhere. I think I always forget this one, though, so... Right there. No. A bit lower. I know it's here. Oh, no, that's stronger. There we go. Get a power moon from that. Left at the cafe. Um, let's see, where to next? There are so many things everywhere. Oh my goodness. We can hop down here. I already, went, I already went in this building. Nothing back there. Well, okay. So that was a little bit pointless, but that's okay. Uh, let's go back this way. And over this way is a person. No? Am I crazy? Maybe that's later or something. I don't know, but anyway, if we go over this way, knocking these boxes out of the way, of course. If we go down this precarious platform, we get to Captain Toad, who can't jump, so his only option is to go down. This place is amazing! All these big buildings everywhere? I got curious to see what was inside one. Turns out, there was a power moon in there. I hope you like it. How you doing, Captain Toad? Because you can't get away from here. You live here now. The folks who live in this kingdom really s seem to like buildings. They really do. Anyway, let's get back onto the main platform since this just goes down. Oh my goodness. And I believe I should probably head back up again, which I can do fairly easy like by doing this. Oh my goodness, that. That thing, dumpster down there, is still was well, still giving me coins for a while. But anyway, if we leap from here over to this platform here and open up this 
this dumpster. How do they take out the trash? That's a good question. It's a very deep question. But anyway, let's actually head back up there again. We're just gonna need to go up there a lot, apparently. Even though there's not much up there. But there is still something. Also, we get to use the motor scooters around here. There's a few places where they spawn, but anyway. Let's go along this platform, grab the key. Let's go, go grab that, that moon. And then let's go straight off the edge, which we can still kind of keep momentum going if we hold down the button, but I'm not going to do that. Welcome to my rooftop parking lot. It's perfect for motor scooters. Yeah, because people often park their motor scooters on top of buildings. Hey, I got a customer. You're the first person to park a motor scooter here. How's about a little reward? Free parking rooftop hop. Which is supposed to actually just go up the stairs over here, but I just like going from the top to the bottom. But anyway, let's go over this way as well. Because over here, we can actually get up a little bit further. Just a little bit. And there's a power moon up here, if I can actually not let go too soon. Gerda sandwich. Okay, there's some purple coins up there that I can't really get to from here unless I do some clever stuff that is not really going to work. Hang on. Oh, that was so close though. Nope, that didn't count as a cap bounce. Okay, I'm fine. I'm surprised that actually didn't kill me. Um, okay. There's so many things left to do. Let's go back to the top again. Make it easy to get to those purple coins and other things. Just because I can jump down. Um, let's see. Let's go over this way. Actually, there was a thing to get up here anyway. To make that easier. But anyway. I'm surprised I'm making some of these jumps work as well as I, I am. This switch just makes a platform appear. You don't need that, technically, but still, it's there if you want to just get across. Oh, I fell in a pit, and I'm fine. Let's grab these. And I think I need to go on top of one of these buildings, maybe? Or down? Down here are some purple coins, so I'll grab those. Okay. Keep going up. I don't know if there's anything up here. I don't even know if there's purple coins. There is not. Okay, cool. Good to know. I came here for no reason. There is still so much left to do here. This is probably the biggest um, kingdom so far. And it's going to be a while till we get everything here. But anyway, let's go into this building here. Oh, and it's this one. Cool. This one's good. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I'll figure out where the thing I'm thinking of is at some point. Ow. Wow, that sent me all the way back to the bottom, and that's really annoying. have to actually dodge the bullet bills. Which we can grab, so. And the blow-up timer resets whenever you capture them. So let's grab this. One man's trash, another man's treasure. And let's see if we can get back. Can probably get back, yeah, easy. Also, I don't think I want to stay in a bullet bill because that's going to end badly for me. What I do want to do is actually get on top of this platform here and then I'm pretty much safe, pretty much. There's a few things about it that aren't safe, but that's okay. Just have to dodge all these bullet bills, which are just crashing into things anyway. And with that, we have made it to the end of this. And there's the second moon. Bullet bill ding. Get it? Because it's a bullet bill and it's a build building. Bullet building. Anyway. Ah, uh, where's this other thing that I was thinking of? I want to do that now. Can I do it now? I'm pretty sure I can do it now. It has purple coins in it. So that means I have to be able to do it now. I just don't know where it is. 
thinking. Oh, is it? No, it can't be. Ah, uh, this is probably it. So let's head in here. Yep, this is it. This is something I wanted to show. We have a motor scooter and we're being chased by a T-Rex. So we have to dodge its attacks, collect these purple coins. We can get coins as well if we follow the path that the game wants us to follow. Oh, I missed a purple coin, really? That's unfortunate because it means I have to redo this entire thing. You can use the yellow uh, markings on the ground to see where you need to go. Kind of, for collectibles. Oh my goodness, he got me. But anyway, after all that, he falls into the pit and we can just go down to this second moon. Motor Scooper Escape. But I also need to get the, um, the purple coin that I missed because I don't know how I missed it, but I managed to miss it. But anyway, it's fine. Let's go. I feel like I should be able to go faster than this, but nope. And I have to actually go side to side so I don't get attacked by the, um, the T-Rex, unfortunately. It sounds so loud. But anyway, I'm going to break those boxes just so I can get that purple coin. Guaranteed. Oh my goodness. How did that get me? I don't think that should have got me. Ow. Okay then. That's fine. We made it through. Also, just collecting a already collected moon recovers your health, so that's really useful. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.